Hello everybody. I bought this at Big Lots yesterday. I've been wanting a sound bar, but I didn't want to pay the $100 price for one. And I don't like ordering online and having to wait and putting my credit card and all that online. So, I saw this while I was at Big Lots and thought, oh, this might be a really cool deal. And this is what I paid for it. And um, I haven't actually unpackaged the entire thing. I unpackaged the manual for now just to um, look through it before I started setting everything up. So it has English, whatever that is, and Spanish, I guess. And before I get started, I will I will read through the manual. Actually, I will skim through the manual to see if there's anything specific I have to do. Um, here are some of the specs on it. So, and let me see if I can find the other thing it says it has. It also comes with a remote control and it's also Bluetooth compatible which means I can use it with my little netbook and I can use it with my cell phone. And here are some other specs on it. It has an FM stereo radio which might be a pretty cool deal as well. So this is my current setup. Um, I of course, as y'all know, I show dogs, so I have crates in my RV. I've got a mess right now. I've got to clean up. I tend to so the dogs are in the kennel right now, so I tend to throw my stuff in their in their crates, which I need to clean out. So there's my toolkit and my pencil box that I keep office supplies and stuff in. Um, behind that is some shoe bags and stuff, my printer, I put a piece of board on top of my crates so I could put this stuff on top of it. When I travel I take the items off and lay them on the floor since I have carpeting they don't roll around or anything. And this is my current television setup. I have two Altex Lang Langsing speakers but one of them no longer works. I have a lamp with a crooked shade that I like to use rather than the RV's 12 volt lighting. It's a much quieter light. And there's a unit that I keep some extra clothes in. On top of that unit is a packet of all my insurance stuff for the RV. I put it in a cabinet but it just seems easier to grab it from there in an emergency. And here is my TV. This RV is a 1996 model. It came with an old tube TV that sat inside of the cabinet. The speakers were on the side of the TV and there was no speaker jack on the TV so you couldn't hear it. I had to pull it out of the cabinet to hear it. So a few years ago I bought this flat screen panel and it is on uh, mounted on a bar so I can roll it inside the cabinet when I travel. And when I'm stationary, I just leave it out. And the speakers on it are okay, but I like stereo sound, which is why I use these. But since the one of them went out, it's still better than the TV sound, but I wanted a better alternative, which is why I bought the sound bar yesterday. So I will get it set up, and we will see how that works. Another thing I forgot to mention was I also found this connection cable to connect the um, speaker with the TV. And another cool item that was only three bucks is was an LED cap light that you can hook onto a hat, the visor of a cap and use it night when camping if you have to do a trek to a bathroom or something. I use the RV's bathroom but 
but there's times where it's more convenient to use the campgrounds. So I thought that might be a cool little gizmo too. Three bucks. It was worth the purchase. Okay, everything seems pretty elementary. The instructions and cautions. Mounting, how to use the mounting brackets, which I'm not going to mount it. I'm just going to set it up on the board on top of my crate. Um, location of controls. These are thick pages. Uh, how to use the remote control, location of buttons on remote control, remote transmitter instructions, operation. It uh, comes with um, auxiliary in jacks and line in jack, which I didn't realize. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe I haven't opened it yet. But it does come with those. I did see those. And how to listen to the radio. And for Bluetooth pairing. And the troubleshooting guide and specs. So we will begin to open the box. Set it this way. Trying to hold the camera with one hand and open the box with the other. Okay. And this is how it is packed. Nicely packed. Oops. Take this styrofoam patch out. Okay, and right here is the power cord and the remote control. Everything has a remote control these days. Even my fans in here have remote controls, which is pretty cool. Makes us fat and lazy. <laughs> and Okay, so I kind of dropped the camera. I didn't really drop it. I grabbed it by the strings and I spun it and I lost video. So, Okay, so I pulled the, the uh, sound bar out of the box and I still have this left in the box, which are the mounting brackets and the auxiliary cable. I'll have to check and see if the other cable's in there too. So I've undone the tape. Here is the sound bar pretty long. I don't know how many feet it is. Oops. Focus, focus. Okay, so I'll take the wrapping off of it. I'll be back. Okay, so here it is. It was wrapped like a Subway sandwich. So right here are... I don't know if it's not focusing. Let me try again. Still doesn't want to focus, but anyhow, it's the auxiliary the line in and the DC plug. The mounting bracket. Another mounting bracket. And other info right here on the back of it. We will flip the bar. Oh look it has feet. I like that. Nice. Sorry about the quick panning. Nice like the feet. So we'll flip the bar over upside down so you can see it upside down. <laughs> Let me fix that. Okay, the front of the speaker part. This is going to be cool. I hope it delivers really nice sound. power button, the source button, volume button, volume button, volume up, volume down, and Bluetooth button, I think. Well, as it turns out, it did come with its own speaker cable connector. 
plus the auxiliary connectors. So this one I bought. I didn't need to buy it, but that's okay because I also use speakers to my computer and the cords to them are rather short. When I use the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on my netbook, my Wi-Fi isn't very strong, so I lose it when I use the Bluetooth, so I have to plug in my speakers instead. Okay, so the cable that came with it, the speaker cable, is too short. So I'm glad I bought the six-foot one after all. I can use the shorter one for other things. I never throw away cables. You never know when they'll be applicable to something else. Okay, I have the power cord plugged in. Don't know if this is going to show up. It looks kind of dark. To my surge protector. And if this works real well, I'll probably unplug my old speakers, which are plugged into the wall behind the TV, and plug this into that instead, since the RV is also protected with a big surge protector. So, and here's the six-foot cord. I will unplug the old speakers, plug the new one into that spot. And we will turn everything on and see how it works. Okay, so let's turn on the TV. Yeah, the remote control. My TV is connected to a DTV box for some reason. The antenna inside of it doesn't work. But that's okay. As long as you can figure something out, you're good. Father's knows, father knows that? No. I don't know. Bachelor father. <laughs> and no sound because I haven't turned the sound bar on yet. And it has a remote control. So let's use the power. Ta-da! Guess what? We have no sound. Okay. because I'm on source. Okay, i got to figure this out. I'll be back. Okay, uh, I had to find the source on the remote. I'm not in focus at all. I'm trying, but the camera doesn't want to. So I am going to go to line, because it's a line in. Ta-da! We have voice. We have sound. We have a movie. No, we don't have a movie. We have my remote control. Okay, let's play with the volume. Oh, look, it has treble, bass, and volume. Bass. Bass. <laughs> it doesn't have fish. And Jane Wyatt. Oh, <laughs> it turns off my portable AC. That's funny. Is that the best you can do for me? It's like, why did my AC go out? Oh, that's funny. Okay, so <laughs> I probably should be using the TV remote anyhow to turn up the volume. Just a little note for Mr. Sheffield advising me that there we go. wrote the best Thanksgiving poem of the fourth grade. Kathy. Oh, that was funny. She must be pretty good. That's a big class she's in. Twenty or thirty youngsters. Oh, it's nothing, Harry. All in a lifetime, Harry. Oh, don't kid me, Jim. I happen up. to be a father, too. Okay, well, so what I'm going to have Harry to do... Ball. Mute it for now. Sure. What I'll have to do is turn up all the volume, the volume the whole way on the Craig bar. And that way, then I can control it with my TV and, and turn my volume up and down with the TV remote. <laughs> That was funny, though, that it turned off my AC. Watch this. Okay, this is my portable AC. <laughs> this is the volume button on the my uh, speaker bar. Ta-da! <laughs> that is too funny. Okay, back on because it'll get hot in here. Okay, so I decided to measure the sound bar, and it is three feet long. 
I am going to do a little test sound on the camera, although I don't think it'll sound all that great because the camera itself doesn't have great sound. It's not a very expensive camera. Okay, this is the sound. I've not set anything as far as treble and bass and any of that goes yet, so this is just the typical sound of the TV with the sound bar. Every time that phone rings, you act as though someone's going to run away with it. I'm sorry, Mother. Oh, signals. Two, four, six, eight. But Jim! What are you doing okay, home so early? Now I will plug Three in my old speakers and see if we can so see a difference. I don't know if you heard that. Now I will plug in my old speakers and see if we can see a sound difference. Okay, my old Altex are plugged back in. But we are discussing the subject of poetry, not Claude Mesner's toes. Your little sister has brought honor and fame to all of us. And this may be just the beginning. Okay, this may... Next will be short stories, then a novel. She'll be... This may not be a good test because I haven't actually synced the other things on the sound bar yet. And those are stereo speakers, so they do sound pretty nice. One of them does. The other one's dead. Change the channel again. For those comments, Risha, is that because of the voting rights? I'm going to have a real... That he, that well, it looks like right, right now I'm only picking up two stations. Any sort of discrimination? Okay but I don't want to leave the radio on in either one just in case I get nabbed for something or other. So that is the Craig soundbar and one more thing I have to pair it with for now is my cell phone but my SD card crashed in my cell phone so I lost all my music and I could use the Pandora to test it but I'm afraid again um, it'll bring up a song and I'll get copyright infringements and lose the video so I will see you later let's put it back on TV find it and I unplugged it go figure okay okay now I'm gonna try a movie by the way I have this little thing that I hang on my wall that contains all my remote controls essential things I use daily so I got my DVD remote control out this is crazy this whole RV is nothing but remote controls so we'll test the movie okay so I put it on movie mode I'm not going to record any or show any of the movie just the sound so yeah I have to do some tweaking because my other speakers actually sound better but I think it's a matter of tweaking. See you later.